Hey y'all, Cowboys Nation! Glad to have y'all here for another round of good oh well chatter about America's team. Let's dive right into today's buzz surrounding our beloved Dallas Cowboys. First off, Coach Mike McCarthy's got his hands full these days. It's not exactly sunshine and rainbows for him after a bye week that followed a real humdinger of a loss, 47-9 against the Lions. I mean, ouch. And let's not forget, he's in the last year of his contract, which puts him in a tight spot. Jerry Jones has already hinted he ain't looking to make any mid-season coaching changes, but that just means McCarthy's on shaky ground. Last week, things got even spicier when the legendary Troy Aikman called out our receivers, saying they're lazier than a hound on a hot day. And you better believe he included C.D. Lamb in that mix. That ain't exactly the kind of Cowboys news any coach wants to hear, especially when you're trying to lift your squad back up. So, what's gonna happen next? Can McCarthy turn things around, or will the critics keep piling on? Now, folks, let's get down to brass tacks. McCarthy's gotta find a way to spark some life into this team. The pressure's on, and he's gotta motivate a bunch of players who, by Aikman's standards, are fallen flat. C.D. Lamb's got the talent, but he's gotta step up big time if he wants to silence the naysayers. The season's still young, and if McCarthy can whip these cowboys into shape, who knows what could happen? So, tell me, do y'all think McCarthy can turn things around and help our cowboys find their groove again? Well, folks, Mike McCarthy's not talking any of that talk laying down. Just the other day, he stepped up to defend his squad after Troy Aikman tossed around some pretty harsh words about the Dallas Cowboys. Look, I ain't gonna waste my breath on stuff that don't matter, McCarthy said, as reported by the Dallas Morning News. I'm watching all the film, sitting in on the meetings, and right there at practice in the games. You wanna talk about laziness? I see it happening right in front of my eyes. Now, even though he claimed he wouldn't engage with Aikman's critique, you could tell he was itching to respond. He didn't mention lazy directly, but it sure was on his mind. Troy's choice of words? I'm not on board with that, McCarthy admitted. But let's be real, there's room for improvement across the board, not just where Troy pointed fingers. You gotta take a step back, see the full picture, and break it down. That's how coaches roll. We've got a process, a plan. The energy these guys bring? Top notch. Their work ethic? You bet it's through the roof. Now, can the Cowboys rally together and prove their mettle on the field this season? What do you think is their biggest challenge ahead? You hit that like button and subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys updates. This season's shaping up to be a wild one, and we'll be here with all the latest news, analysis, and behind-the-scenes action. Plus, you don't want to miss out on any surprises that might just turn this season into something special. Keep riding with us as we break it all down, from roster changes to game highlights. Let's see if these moves will take the Cowboys to the next level. Y'all listen up. Troy Aikman's been chatting about the Dallas Cowboys offense, and he's pointing the finger more at the receivers than at Dak Prescott. Now, we can all agree that C.D. Lamb's had a rough go this season. With only 476 yards and two touchdowns over six games, that ain't exactly blowing the roof off. The Cowboys are struggling to find a solid receiver to back up Lamb, which means Dak's been leaning hard on him. But here's the kicker, Lamb's catch rate has plummeted to 47.2%, the lowest it's ever been. Now, we know he sat out all of training camp in the preseason, waiting on that new contract, which he finally snagged on August 26, just a smidge before the season kicked off. He's still trying to find his groove this year. Last season, he had a sweet 91.2 grade from Pro Football Focus, landing him fourth in the NFL. But now, he's sitting at a 70.7, which puts him down at 46. And don't get me started on Jalen Tolbert, 
he's struggling too, with a grade of 66.5, ranking 69th. As for the Cowboys, they're still in the mix for the NFC East title, just one loss shy of the top spot held by the Commanders, who are dealing with a rookie quarterback injury. Once the boys get back from their break, they've got a tough road ahead, and they've got their eyes on that NFL trade deadline coming up on November 5th. If they want to shake things up, now's the time. We've already seen some big trades, like Cam Akers moving from the Texans to the Vikings. The Cowboys, bless their hearts, could sure use a jolt at running back since they're dead last in the league with only 463 rushing yards. But rumor has it, Dallas might be looking to trade not for new talent but to let someone go. Deuce Vaughn, that speedy second-year player who's been sitting on the sidelines, could be the odd man out. So, Cowboys fans, do y'all think a trade is the right move to turn this season around, or should they stick it out and hope for the best with the current squad? It might sound a bit crazy to think that a player who hasn't seen much action on what many call the worst rushing squad in the NFL could catch the eye of other teams. Yet, the Dallas Cowboys seem intent on keeping Rico Dowdle in the mix, while veteran Ezekiel Elliott might be on the chopping block. With former pro bowler Dalvin Cook currently sitting on the practice squad, the drama is just beginning. Running back Vaughn, at just 22 years old, has had a rough season so far, with only 7 carries for 20 yards and 2 catches for 14 yards. Fans were hoping he would take a bigger role, especially after Tony Pollard left, but it looks like he might end up with even fewer touches than the 40 he managed last year. The Cowboys are at a crossroads with Delvin Cook. Moving Vaughn for a 6th round pick could be a smart move, especially for a rebuilding team that needs some speed. If the Cowboys decide to elevate Cook, it could shake things up in the backfield. Cook has made it clear that he's ready to step up whenever the Cowboys need him, adding more intrigue to the situation. As the Cowboys navigate these challenging decisions, it's clear that every choice matters in the unpredictable world of the NFL. The front office faces tough calls ahead, especially regarding how they want to shape their rushing game. Letting Elliott go in favor of Cook could completely alter their offensive dynamics. The Cowboys' management knows that building a solid running game is crucial for their success and overall position in the division. The stakes are high, and fans are anxious to see how these decisions will unfold and influence the team's performance this season. The big question on everyone's mind is how these potential roster changes will impact the Cowboys' chances of success in a fiercely competitive league. So, what do y'all think? Should the Cowboys gamble on bringing Delvin Cook into the lineup, or is it wiser to stick with their current roster? The answers might just define the team's fate in the weeks to come. The Dallas Cowboys are currently in the spotlight, with swirling rumors of a potential blockbuster trade that could land them a superstar valued at $125 million. As the team faces challenges with their roster, the buzz is intensifying faster than a tumbleweed rolling across the Texas Plains. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is trying to keep things under wraps, but the NFL trade deadline looms on November 5, 2024, coinciding with Election Day. Among the names being tossed around is Miles Garrett, the dynamic pass rusher from the Cleveland Browns. According to Bleacher Report's Alex K., the Cowboys could potentially trade four future draft picks, two first-rounders and two third-rounders, to acquire Garrett. While the Cowboys have yet to signal that a major trade is imminent, they appear to be more focused on contract extensions for their star players, Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. They chose a quieter approach during the offseason, but adding Garrett could make a significant difference, especially with injuries to key defenders like Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence. Garrett has consistently proven his worth on the field, boasting six consecutive seasons with double-digit sacks. In 2023 alone, he tallied 14 sacks and forced four fumbles, showcasing his ability to impact games decisively. However, his hefty five-year contract, which runs through 2026 with a $2.1 million cap hit this season, adds complexity to any potential trade. 
The Cowboys find themselves at a crossroads, needing to carefully evaluate their strategy during this pivotal trade season. The prospect of acquiring Garrett represents not just a chance to strengthen their defense but also a larger discussion about the direction of the franchise. Should the Cowboys go all-in for a proven star like Garrett, or would it be wiser to hold on to their valuable draft picks for future talent? The financial implications and long-term strategies are essential considerations for the organization. Will Jerry Jones make the decisive move to shake up the roster, or will he choose to maintain the current course? It's a crucial moment for the Cowboys, and fans are left wondering, is now the time to make a bold move, or is patience the better play?